post the Adani debacle followed by Hindenburg research report. One term has constantly been in news, which is short selling. How can one sell something which someone doesn't have in the first place? Is it even legal in India? Hold your seats tightly. We are going to take you to the trip of understanding. Short selling is basically the selling of a stock that one doesn't own in order to profit from a fall in its price. This is accomplished by borrowing the stock in question and returning it along with some interest at the end of the trade. In India, we can short sell by selling a futures contract for a stock or index. The futures price is simply the price that the market expects the stock to settle at on a particular date. Alternatively, the smart buyers hedge their risk by buying a put option. Are you wondering, once you have shorted a stock, when do you have to buy it again? Very good question indeed. It can be done within a day or can be extended to next month by paying the cost to carry forward the trade. Are you now thinking that why didn't you know this until now? Well, because India has limited options for short selling unlike USA. In India, there is lesser liquidity in the market and high interest rates are charged. Also, mutual funds or hedge funds cannot go short in India to safeguard the interests of investors against potentially unlimited losses. It was easy to understand, no? Keep following Ecoholics for more such educational content.